some major news about that thing we've all been searching for. A video on Pornhub we haven't watched yet. A coronavirus vaccine. This morning, there are promising signs in an early stage vaccine trial. The U.S.-based biotech company Moderna has announced interim phase one results in a trial conducted with the National Institutes of Health. Participants in the human clinical trial have developed antibodies against the virus. That's key because that's exactly what a vaccine is supposed to do. Yeah. And without many side effects so far, that's really good news. And that's why you see the stock market, uh, the Dow here up more than 700 points, because this could potentially be game changing news. That's right. The results of a major coronavirus vaccine trial are out and they are promising because some participants in the trial got antibodies and there were no major side effects, which, let's be honest, is a major relief. Because don't forget, they're fast tracking this vaccine. So the scientists could have come out like, the results are in, and the good news is all three of Bruce's heads are coronavirus negative. Now, even though this is the really early stages, the stock market went crazy today with everyone trying to invest in this company. And it actually gave me an idea. Anyone who owns a company right now who's struggling, just announce that your product can also maybe help fight coronavirus and you're in the money, baby. Cinnabon could have an ad like, hey, if our Cinnabons can't kill you, what chance does coronavirus have? Now, while most people are waiting for a vaccine, there are some people who think we might not even need one. People like Eric Trump, fetus in its hundredth trimester and the president's fourth favorite son. You see, according to baby Voldemort, coronavirus is actually a hoax that'll go away on its own. And the only reason the media is even talking about it is to steal the White House from his dad. Biden loves this. Biden can't go out on stage without making some horrible blunder. I mean, even from his basement, he's making awful gaffes every single day. So his campaign's thrilled that he's not going out there. And they think they're taking away Donald Trump's greatest tool, which is being able to go into an arena and fill it with 50,000 people every single time, right? So they, they will, and you watch, they'll milk it every single day between now and November 3rd, and guess what? After November 3rd, coronavirus will magically all of a sudden go away and disappear and everybody will be able to reopen. Okay, here's something I don't get. If coronavirus is all a giant scam, then why is Eric Trump doing this interview from his house? A house where, by the way, it looks like he was in the middle of doing a seance. Like, what's up with those candles? Spirits, spirits, wherever you may be, make my father proud of me. Now, according to Eric, this whole coronavirus thing is a conspiracy to prevent his dad from doing big campaign rallies. And I'm, I'm sorry, man, this makes no sense. Donald Trump is the president. So if he thinks coronavirus is all just a bunch of hype and he should be able to do a rally, then my man, go and do a rally. I swear, Trump is the most powerful, least powerful person in the world. I wanna do a rally, but I can't because the doctors will get mad at me. And by the way, we all know coronavirus is not a democratic plot because if Corona was a Democrat, it would have found a way to lose weeks ago. And speaking of Donald Trump, the president isn't spending all his time not dealing with the coronavirus pandemic. He's also keeping busy with other important parts of his job, undermining democracy. Overnight, there was another shakeup in the administration. The State Department Inspector General Steve Linick is being fired, the fourth IG to be let go in recent weeks. House Foreign Affairs Committee Chairman Elliot Engel says the watchdog opened an investigation into Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and accused the president of an unlawful act of retaliation. Linick had launched an investigation into Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and whether, according to a congressional aide, Pompeo and his wife had misused a political appointee for personal tasks. The IG was looking into whether Pompeo made a member of his staff, a political appointee, walk his dog, pick up his dry cleaning, and make reservations for the secretary and his wife. Wow. President Trump has fired his fourth inspector general in just the last few weeks. And what makes this firing extra suspicious is that this inspector general was in the middle of investigating Mike Pompeo for using his official staff to do unofficial things, such as walk his dog and do his laundry. And I'm sorry, man, but Pompeo had to know he was gonna get caught. Sending people to pick up his dry cleaning? I mean, he's the only person in Washington whose shirts have a four foot wide neck hole. What did he think was gonna happen? So once again, Trump has fired somebody who's supposed to be providing oversight on his administration. 
which still makes no sense to me. I mean, this would be like if a toddler could fire their own babysitter. I'm sorry, Kimberly, but you're just killing me and Peppa Pig's vibe. You gotta go. Yeah, this whole bedtime thing is trash.